Hey guys, you are seeing me in a complete and totally different light, but obviously it's 2024 and I wanted to try something different. I actually wanted to start this year with a reset video because I haven't done that either. If you hear noise in the background, I'm sorry, it's tea. We live together. My fiance. So, um, yeah, so today, can you tell I'm excited? Um, this is the first day that I will be doing a monthly budget with you guys. And I will be sure to link the name of the channel that I got this idea from. But I've been watching a budget channel for years and I always thought like it was so cool, but I was also scared to try it because I'm a person that I don't like failing. Like failing makes me feel the worst. So I like, sometimes I hold myself back and I'd rather not try, but we laying that down in 2024 because failing is the path to succeeding. And this is um, actually on sale. So I think I'm going to go ahead and grab the yearly budget as well from her while everything is on sale and use the discount codes that I have. So I've added this ultimate budget spreadsheet template for Google Sheets layout version 3.0. Yeah, I'll just put all my budget girlies below because I know there are other options. And now that I'm here, I kind of feel bad because it's like... I watch other people, I've supported other people, this person is new, do I really want to support her and not those other people, but I can switch it up. Sorry y'all, I'm just getting my card stuff together so that I have the ability to go ahead and check out, which I will forward this part, but I always keep my card locked, <laughs> no matter what. Contact email. What, why do they want to confirm it's me? I hate when they do stuff like this, like yes, it's me. I hope the month is monthing. I hope the year is yearing for you guys. Not today, see. It's been like 15, 20 minutes later. I was having difficulties. I had to choose a different email and it's an international website. So it's neither here nor there. We're ready now. So I've downloaded the budget layout and I'm just opening it up. I'm gonna move y'all over cause she's trying to tell us how to do this. Okay, so click any button from, um, make a copy if you don't see that button select file this is like giving you like a play-by-play -play. now i'm confused oh okay it's where i have y'all placed so that was the first page it says read me instructions now we're going to budget this is it ow got my tea I'm trying to read myself off coffee Okay, so this budget starts from February 1. We're going to call this Zoe's Paycheck 1, Terrence Paycheck 1, Command C, Command V, Zoe's Paycheck 2, and then we're going to do Terrence Paycheck 2. So we're going to start on the 14th for February, then... Then I'll get my second February paycheck on the 28th and he'll get his on the 29th. And my other income we'll just put on the last day of February as well. But I'll calculate it because I have like side hustles. Let's make our side hustle paycheck for the 16th. I don't even know if that's right, but we'll just go with it. For my first paycheck, I estimate to be getting $1,100 for teas. First paycheck, it, he gets usually $1,200. I already have stuff coming out. He already has stuff coming out. Insurance, pay union dues. I put some away from my 401k, just stuff like that. So keep that in mind. This is not our full paycheck. I do it say $12,000. Lord, yes. Bless me, Lord. It's like, I play too much. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, and then through my side hustle money, if I put it for the 16th alone, I'm only going to have a hundred, an extra 150 Okay, y'all, so bear with me as this is my first time actually doing this with you guys. Okay, so you see here it is auto-calculating. It says left to spend, available to budget, total expenses. I love this. The, the forward movement, like you're making more. Cause you never feel like that because you're always spinning out but that's neither here nor there so honestly what i've been telling t is i don't like to do rainy day funds because i feel like you're planning for a rainy day like whatever you prep for is what you're bringing into your life so like i don't know we'll call this just like our extra fun you know because 
if the year goes by and we have enough in it, we might decide, okay, let's, let's, we've been good. Let's go on vacation. I don't want to call it a rainy day or emergency and draw those things into my life. I know I'm, I can, maybe you don't understand. It's fine if you don't, but so our electric bill changes monthly, but in the summer, our electric bill is like higher because we use the air conditioner. So without that, our electric bill, I'll say has been around a hundred dollars. Then we have our internet and that is at least for this next month it will be what two hundred dollars it's usually like one something but i think we have some left over from the last time so we're just gonna go ahead and budget that at 225 rent is 800 car insurance is they've been raising the prices on me low key we're gonna go with 165 phone bill and last time, because we had just put like all these new devices on our tablet, our drone was like close to 300. I'm gonna budget for 250 and say it is what it is. That looks about right. Automatically, I'm gonna come down here and add tithes because we do tithe in this household. I'm just gonna add that because it wasn't there. If I go up, it says I have available $3,210 to budget. And again, we're going on a zero based budget. So by the end of this, we're trying to have nothing left over. So y'all, I'm keeping it so real. Lately, groceries have been like five to six hundred dollars for them so in the month month of april it won't be that much because t will be here alone it's almost like if i really sit and do the math is it cheaper for us to go freaking go to taco bell and chipotle and like get a salad every freaking day of the week but we're gonna budget 550 dollars for grocery that seems sick we're dining out and this is just for the month of february like we have sp something specific that we added to our schedule this wouldn't generally be this high we're gonna budget 150 Fuel, T spends about $120 every two weeks on fuel and I spend about 30. So let's just budget for 200. Shopping, we do be buying stuff, but whenever we do, whenever we buy stuff, we usually get it off like after pay. So we don't have to pay the full amount just because our taste is expensive. It's not like we be wanting like no little $30 and stuff. I feel comfortable with budgeting like maybe like $80 a piece for it. And I'm getting these numbers off of Rami Seth's numbers. 50 to 60% should be going to bills, 5 to 10 to savings, 5 to 10 to investments, and then 20 to 30 to like fun stuff. So that's where I'm kind of getting these numbers. For, for entertainment, we have this app called Apollo that's 25 we have hulu and disney plus which we've been watching so i'm gonna budget 50 for entertainment travel we ain't going nowhere gifts it is valentine's day i don't know what i'm gonna get t and i don't know what he's gonna get me but i'll just make the budget a hundred dollars which is fifty dollars a piece we don't have no pets we don't need anything thank god for health so last but what, which should be first but not least is ties i have another budget t does pay and help to support his babies and ties actually wind up being 400 a month we started or we're going to start a fidelity account and we do have some debt so terrence has an amazon card he has a capital one card i have a kohl's card I have a Premier card. I have a Capital One. So we'll do his and then we'll do mine. We both have self. And is that it? I feel like that's it. I also have a school debt as well. So because we're on here, over here, I'll drag you guys over. And we have about $1,200 left. Wanna start off with ourselves first. Sorry, I keep moving y'all around. When I was doing the math, we could actually stand to put $150 in a, like, like an S&P fund, basically, which will help for retirement. And we wanna do that over the next couple of years. Just put $150 minimum in it monthly and watch that money accrue. That's what we're gonna do with that. Once I put that and we're at like a thousand dollars in the month of february i get my tax returns t doesn't have get his anymore after pay because we do owe quite a few things on there a lot of these things we are planning to pay off with that most of these things are like three hundred dollars that being said let's talk about what we can budget I feel like i'm forgetting something like why is it this easy but right now, because we have a thousand and fifty after pay between the two of us, I think our payments wind up being, and I'm just being very transparent with y'all, four hundred dollars. 
because we'll get little stuff here and there. So that means we have 650. So my Kohl's card, I'm gonna put, I put always at least 35 on there. 35 on this, 35 on the Premier card. And between our self cards, it's gonna budget for 100. So that means we have $445 left. I wouldn't worry about my school because I think I'm gonna use my income tax for that. These for T, I'm not sure how much he wants to budget for these, but I would say that we should just handle this entire card in the month of February because I think he only owes like 400 on it at least get it real real low and then we can worry about these with our income tax because these are the highest ones and then we have 145 left we're going to just leave this these blank oh I do have one more bill do 55 I hate this off number so I'm gonna go ahead and put 90 towards self. So we have available 100 left to budget. So then in the extra fund, we should have about 100. And then there you go. We're, we're at a zero dollar budget, which is where we want it to be. But as you can see, when you do our expenses and our bills, we are way over the 50% mark. I think the only way to really like change this is if we like made more money, which we do plan to do. In order to go by Rami says 50, 10, 10, 30 rule, and that's really cool and that I do plan to use is this budget tracker so it said the date you spent how much you spent and where it falls under your budget therefore like you shouldn't be frivolously spending and I love this for us because it's just like well I want to go buy a bag of gum this goes into shopping I can't spend over 160 right and so this will really keep us on track during the month we'll probably come back to this weekly but yeah I hope you stuck along throughout this video I'm really excited to go on this journey with you guys I have a lot of changes a lot of plans a lot of growth coming up yeah I was like putting this off for forever but I was like this year is the year and so I think that this is going to be really amazing and I can't wait to look back at the end of 2024 to see like what my spending looks like and just really take into account everything that's going on it makes me feel good because it's like do we really like get this much money like it seems like the money is always somewhere else and if you are wanting to start budgeting make sure you go ahead and do that we are placing that doubt and that fear aside in 2024 and whatever it is we're getting to it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye is it going i think it is i hope it is